A lot of shifting sands, that's good. I'm going to give you a little bit of a, of a financial report too. Um, kind of talk about where we were and, and um, where we are now. So I'm not sure if the slide is, can be on this back screen. All right, maybe I just... Pull it up. Okay. What are we looking at? Okay, Vision Sunday is. So I'm going to give you a little bit of our uh, 2000, where we were in 2009, and then where we are now. So I think the first slide is is uh, tithes and offerings, is that right? Yeah, T and O. Okay, so 2009, the tithes and offerings for the year, these are annual totals, were 2000, was a 1.9 million, and 2019, last year, was 2.12, and we project 2020 to be 2.3. <laughs> um, the, the, the 2009 number, is a little as skewed because of a campaign we did. If you've been around here for a while, you'll remember this campaign. It was called Elevation 09. Uh, Elevation 09. Elevation 09 brought in by itself almost $400,000 that year from this congregation. The upstairs that you're in right now, um, the classrooms upstairs, the the that walkway, that hallway, all that, the elevator, all that was came out of Elevation 09. All those resources, that wasn't, none of that was done here. Some things we did over uh, outside and cleaned up and, and worked on sound treatments and different things and looks and feels here in the sanctuary, all that came out of, out of Elevation 09. So that, that number really is about one point, what's nine minus four? Five, 1.5, there you go. <clears throat> I slept that class at Stanford, so that's all right. <laughs> I remember, I can go back that to uh, Elevation 09. How many people are a part of that? We were in the house, a lot of you. And, and uh, if you can go back to 09, that was kind of an economic downturn in the United States. It was just a 09, people were losing their houses and businesses and it was, it was a struggle. And um, I didn't really come up with this on my own. It was just me interceding and the Lord said, this is what I want you to do. And so we got close to launching it and uh, I said to the Lord, this is a bad idea. <laughs> you ever say something crazy and I said, this is, the economy is bad. I, I don't think we're going to be able to do this. I think we need to postpone it. And the Lord said to me, I'm doing this. You walk with me. And I'm going to show you how great I am. So I said, okay. And we did this. And it was, it was an awesome year. Um, but you see the, the continuity over 10 years. Um, just the faithfulness, the steadiness of God's people and what, and what they have done. The, the next slide is, is different types of ministries and outreaches that uh, we have just, just done out in the communities and, and things we've launched inside the house and the ministries that the youth and, and young adults are doing. In 2009, it was $150,000 um, that we had raised and launched towards different ministries, different things we were doing. Um, in 2019, it was 860,000 uh, that we have, we have given out. We, we started a school, um, Overcomer Academy. We had a stepping stone school, a, a little co-op here at the very beginning, about 10 years ago. And we really began to launch and move things to a new level. Um, repairs and fixes inside. We just had a guy come, got a report yesterday. We're going to redo some lighting here and some sound treatments. We've already started on the sound treatments, changing those things, getting a better acoustic look and feel in the atmosphere. 
Because it's important for people when they come into an atmosphere and they don't walk with God yet, that they, they see a spirit of excellence that's presented. Why? Because excellence is not opulence, but they should have excellence. Because if somebody comes from an excellent environment, they come in this environment and should feel at home. And if somebody's coming from a junk environment, they should step in here and go, ah, I like it here. So he worked to create that and for the purpose of bringing people into a level of comfort and into the kingdom of God. And so we project 2020 to be 1.5, and we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that, that number in just a little bit because we're going to do some things we've never done before, but you've got to do that to go some places you've never been before. I do something different. Um, steps of faith. I gave a 10-year total for steps of faith. Um, um, we gave out $2.2 million locally and globally in the 10 years with steps of faith. Congratulations. <laughs> $2.2 million. I mean, you're feeding people across the globe. Uh, people getting born again, ex expanding the gospel of Jesus Christ in Asia, in Africa, in the, in the Middle East, uh, in some crazy environments too, um, scary environments. I'm, I wouldn't advise taking a trip to Indonesia to right now because it's just a lot of conflict and issues there. Um, the last time we were there, we're, we're, it flew in and, you know, and, and you can't be there preaching the gospel, right? So it's illegal, but we're going anyway, and we're going to preach the gospel. And if it is, it is what it is. So, so we're, at, we're, at, um, we're at the airport, and, and we're trying to go through customs, me and a couple other guys that are with me. And we're in the back of this line. I'm talking about a line probably of 300 people. And we're in the very, like, five people from the back. And the line's not moving. It's one thing, you know, in the United States you have a line, but, and it frustrates you, but it's at least it's moving. It might be moving slow and serpentining around. But there's, there was just not moving. So I said, I'm, I'm not waiting in this line. I'm, let's go. Let's just go around. And our guy with me said, this is, this is not the U.S. This is Indonesia, man. You can't do that. I'm like, yeah, we can. We're going to do this. We, come on, let's do it. They said, man, Pastor G, let's, let's not do that. Let's, but no, no, we're not standing. We've been standing here. We've been standing here for half an hour. We haven't moved two feet. We're moving around this thing. So we went around. <clears throat> I went around to the side and slipped back up, and people were looking at me like I was crazy. I didn't really care. So... I, I remember I got in the side and I got in the line and the guy up front. And it took, me, it took, us, it took us about half an hour just to get that done. And they, we got up front, the guy looked at my card, looked at me, did this. Go to the back. <laughs> <laughs> so now we were behind those five or six people <laughs> that we were in front of before. And the line hadn't moved in maybe two feet the entire time. It was hilarious. We ended up seeing so many people all give their life to the Lord. Uh, we started a couple undergirded some safe houses in Indonesia there. Um, it, was great. it was great work. Another time we were in there and the guy started yelling at me, Obama. It's Obama. Obama's here, it's Obama, Obama, Obama. And I'm like, no, ooh, I'm not Obama, are you kidding me? And I was thinking to myself, and I, came, and I said to him, I, I'm not Obama, I'm not Obama. He said, Obama's brother, Obama's brother. And people were coming to see Obama's brother. I was like, oh boy. I'm trying to slip in under incognito, Obama's brother. <clears throat> So we're going we're gonna to do that again. Let's do it again. Let's just keep giving and supporting and, and doing the things locally and globally. CareNet is one of the ministries that we support. Um, the, the David and Lenny Chacos and um, oh, I can name a, a ton of them. I'm probably miss a, 
miss a ton too as I'm doing it, but it's just well done, well done. Uh, the Limitless campaign, we started that a few years back. Um, $340,000 we have raised through Limitless in the last few years. Um, it's been really kind of a low key campaign. I haven't really pushed a lot of that. I'm amazed really at that number because when we launched it, um, part of it was to do the work here for sewer, to put sewer, which we're gonna talk about in a second, here on the campus and what that does for us. But I also recognize that when we launched it, it was a, li a little premature because we had so much governmental approvals you have to get. And the government just, it takes its time. And it's not in a hurry when you want them to do something. They're only in a hurry when they're collecting your taxes. <laughs> so I, I kind of said, well, let's not push it because once we push it and then you, you raise this money and you can't really do anything, it's just sitting there, let's just wait on it. But we ended up raising over $340,000 that we have now towards the project. That is just unbelievably awesome. So what we're gonna, yeah, amen, that's praiseworthy. We're gonna, we wanna raise another 500,000 in 2020 to take that number to 840 and then we'll, we're gonna pay the sewer project out with just cash. We're not gonna take any else lines of credit or anything, we'll just pay it out in cash. We're close to it, so we're gonna get, we're gonna get that done. And several other things that we wanna do here with Parker Center, and, and we'll, we'll talk a little bit about this kind of layout um, for the campus, the five-year plan, so you see the whole development, and I'll, and I'll show you the campus. Those of you that are new and don't, don't know that in just a second, but the total then, our, our um, annual income or the, was 2.7 in, in uh, 2009, 3.4 last year was the total income here that we, that we raised here at OCC and we project that to be 4.1 in 2020. Yeah, God bless you. Um, so congratulations to you. We thank God for the faithfulness that you guys have. We've all shown together. <clears throat> Here's some of the things that we that behind the scenes, I'll just tell you, there was a 4.7% decrease over 10 years in expenses and a 25.9% increase in contributions. Yeah. And you ask the question, well, how can you have a 25.9%, almost 26% increase and decrease your expenses. Well, we just did some, some smart things. Um, you go back to 09, you remember what the economic climate was. It was just the loans were bad and high interest rates. It was just and restrictive. The, the loan that we had inherited was a, just a restrictive loan. And so I went to try to get um, some idea of how to, to pay it off early. I want, because the rate was so high, it was just ridiculous. So I said, I'm just gonna pay this off early. What, what's my payment penalty for paying this off and, get, and refinancing it? $250,000. It was a quarter of a million dollars for the privilege of refinancing. Needless to say, we didn't refinance at that, at that number. So we just, we just kept plugging away. And, so I started, we started cleaning some things up, Jay, and moving some things around. And, and um, so as, as time went on, we doubled down on some payments and started paying some principals. And so we ended up paying off the horse farm, which you're gonna see 4.4 acres. Um, we paid that off completely over the last 10 years and we now own that free and clear. Um, So, so what we just started doing is do, doing little things that you could do to make it more efficient and effective, got rid of some waste, um, 
just some stuff that, were, that we just didn't need to do. Remodeled out front, maybe got a little better air conditioning systems and, and uh, just did stuff that we could do, that you do what you can do, and God will do what he must do. And so we followed that principle, and the increase came and, and uh, became pretty dynamic. Uh, the property values in 2009, uh, the, the value at, of this campus was $4.1 million. And we had an appraisal in 2015, 2016, and our, our current uh, number is $16.02 million. We, we owe on the campus just under three, right around three million, 2.97 or 3.1, right at three million. And the value, current value as we sit right now is 16.02 million. So um, it's very attractive. We get a lot of um, companies who are offering to loan us money. And uh, I was like, where were you at the start of this decade? But you know, it's like anything, when you have ask good ratios and assets and resources, then people come to say, hey, we're with you. Um, but we've done this together this whole time, so we'll continue that way. Um, w one of the things that's gonna help us huge is, is, is this sewer project we're in now. Um, sewer is like beneath the ground, and, and so you don't really see it but it is very important for you. We are on a septic system now. Um, anybody's home on a septic system? Can you raise your hand? Yeah, so some of us, everybody else is on sewer, right? Um, I'm, my, I live in a subdivision, our, our subdivision's on sewer as well, but if you have a septic system, then you, know, you flush the toilets and hold on to the stuff that's in your system, right? It just gets, and you hire somebody to come and they pump it out and take it and, and it goes that way. Um, sewer will flush into an organized system for the county. The, the, so we have to pay for this. And we're gonna pay out half a million dollars or more to not only create a sewer system for our campus, but also for the community. So all of our community neighbors are going to get um, sewer now available to them. They'll have to pray for a little tap in, but it's it's a it's a win. In most cases, you know, there's some that it's not, but in most cases, there's a win for them. Uh, the the other side is for us is to get permits and everything approved is is a is a job, but everybody wants us to do it. Um, King County wants us to do it. Lake Haven wants us to do it. That everybody wants you to do that. Why? Because we're paying for it. <laughs> They're like, this is a great idea. <laughs> we love this. You guys pay for it and put, pay for all the, the work that put in sewer, and then we're going to collect resources and funds from the neighbors for, out of your money. Thank you so much. <laughs> and then they say, well, there's a latecomer's fee, and we'll, if somebody taps in, we'll give you a couple nickels. Oh, thank you so much. You're so gracious. <laughs> but nonetheless, for us, we have to have it. Um, in order to build the things we want to build on this campus, you have to be on sewer. This is the largest contiguous piece of property in King County that's on a septic system. I don't even, I don't even know how they allowed us to continue to do that, but you know, it's just poop in the pipe. So... Um, <laughs> But it is what it is, you know, we gotta have it. <laughs> so the, if, when, when we do sewer, it's, it's gonna cost about a half a million, we're gonna raise that. Um, but it's gonna bring the value of the property from 16.02 million to over 21 million. That is a huge number, <laughs> huge number. So we're, we're going we're gonna to do that, uh, get this sewer paid and done, and then knock off any um, debt we have on this campus. 
And at the end of the day, when we, before we get to the next decade, we'll be debt free from, from that. You know, and, and it's going to free us up in a lot of ways. Um, I, I, I don't want to jump into uh, a whole bunch of the new things we're doing, but I do want to give you a little bit of a picture of that. So, so you can get a little perspective. Um, there, there is a, maybe a drone slide. You guys would just want to roll that, and we're out of time anyway. And uh, if we just run that, and I'll talk through it, and then we'll close our service out. Yeah, this is, obviously, you see the main campus. That's the building we're in now. Um, family center is to the far right. There's uh, Charlie's car and <laughs> Betty. So this is the, the uh, land behind us. We own all of that. As we, as we jump this fence, that house there we don't own. And there's another house next to that. We're going to see that in a second. Uh, this is the uh, horse farm, or the 4.4 acres. Uh, there's the intern house, that yellow house right there, um, right that I'm pointing to that doesn't make any difference. You can't see that. <laughs> but nonetheless, that, that, that has horses and everything now. There's a horse there. Then we're backing up towards um, somewhere. I have no idea. <laughs> but there we go. Now we are. This our, that was Parker Center then. And this is uh, the part of the campus. Military Road South. Is that right? Yeah. All right. And there's a, there's a nice view of this campus. Give me the, the slide that's outlined, if you can. Um, I can't. Those are different. The outline is our campus that we own. Those are just headlights of the different buildings that we have currently. And um, that little kind of L that's just got highlighted is some property that we don't own yet. There's two houses. Part of it, though, is easement. The good news about the sewer, when we first start looking at sewer, the, the, the price for sewer was close to a million dollars. Um, and I was like, eh, let's just ride it out. It'll, it'll get cheaper as time goes on. And, and they didn't want to do anything that we wanted them to do. Um, some of it was, was ridiculous, we should, they shouldn't do, but some of it was good. So we wanted just to go across uh, Military Road and put a pipe underneath the bridge. They said no. I said, why? Because if the pipe breaks, it just, it's bad. I said, okay, you're right. Because it was, <laughs> it's the cheapest, most direct way for us, right? So I said, let's go under then. Let's go under the freeway. You could do a lot of stuff. There's a lot of pipes under the freeway, and they kept saying, no, oh, when the uh, Department of Transportation, Wash, Dot will not approve that. I said, well, what if they will? If I get them to approve it, we'll do it. No, we're not going to do that anyway, even if they did approve it. I said, why not? Because it only helps you. That's what they said. It only helps you. You go underneath, you tap into there, it doesn't, you don't tap anybody else in, it only helps you. And I said, yeah, you're right. So then they had an elaborate way to go out front military and go down military. Now, the challenge with that is, have you ever seen those guys that you're standing there and they have that little sign and they say, stop? They get on the microphone and then they turn it in and say, slow. It's very sophisticated. I'm going to do it again, said some of you guys. Stop. Slow. All right. But they're making like 30 an hour doing that. I, I, I wanted to take a little time off from here and get a job. But... Well, somebody's paying them that an hour. That would be us. That would be us. When we're doing sewer and tearing up military road going down, they're doing a stop and a slow. We're going to be paying them 30 an hour. And so I just said, let's just, let's just wait on that. Let's, let's see if God can open up something for us. So it turned out that the more investigation and work we started doing and, and the team that we worked with found an alternate route and all the routes that we're on 
down this street, down that little side street, all of it is owned by King County. All of its side roads. So there's no major tear up on any road. No uh, easements, agreements we have to make. It's just, it just dropped the price in half. So, I signed agreements to that yes, a couple of days ago, and, and uh, we're going to do that together, and this sewer is going to be great for us, and we're going to build out the rest of this campus. Uh, we're going to pick up a couple of those houses, hopefully within the next year or so, and, and we're going to finish this campus out, and, I'm, and I'm going to master plan it for you so that you can see it, but it's, it's going to be pretty grand and a lot of fun, and, and we'll do some special things together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the plan you've given us and you're executing your plan in the earth. And, and it's, a, it's a great plan and we're with you, God. And empower us to heal the sick and, and drive out devils and save the lost. Love those that don't know love. And serve those that never been served. Honor those that have been rejected. Give us a heart for it, God. And let the gold that you gave the Israelites from the Egyptians, let that measure of gold be released into our hands now. And as we give, as we receive, so we shall give. In Jesus' name, amen, 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 amen. Amen. So we're, we're not going to change the uh, name of the, the campaign. It's limitless. It's, it's where we are. We're, we're, we're limitless. No limits. God's lifting you up to a new level, so it's no limits. Um, so we're going to receive our offering, just our normal t Sunday morning T&O. Be, be uh, consistent with that. In the seat backs in front of you, there is a, an old limitless card. We're gonna, if you want to give towards something today, in that campaign, you feel free to do that. It's also on the drop down on push pay. You can give limitlesses that, that way. But we're also gonna lay out some new things for you as well as we relaunch this campaign and take it to the next level. Uh, thank you for your faithfulness. On behalf of Derizette, I just wanna thank you for all the great things. It's been a great time of hard fast for me for these 21 days, but it's been good. I uh, feel energetic and the spirit of the Lord is with me. God's opening up our eyes to see in our tomorrows. Uh, and he's for you. Just know that. The takeaway today is God is for you. And he's going to make a way when there's no way. He's made a way. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for the tithes, the offerings, steps of faith, global missions. Uh, we count it a privilege and an honor to be able to, to give locally and globally to to, to, to the work of the kingdom. Thank you for, uh, for the benevolence, the, all the light bills that's been paid over 10 years and car notes and keep people from being thrown out of their apartments and by paying a rent that you've empowered us to do and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars annually to go to feed uh, those who don't have food and feed the homeless and to make a difference. And we want to do more than we've ever done before. We want to do greater than we've done in the past. And empower us by your spirit and give us resources because we can't give what we don't have. So we, we ask that you would open up the floodgates and give us resources beyond measures, ideas and insights and partnerships and favor in, in before the right people in the name of Yeshua. And as we give, Rejoice in the heavens at the faithfulness of your sons and daughters. In Jesus' name. Somebody say amen.